Well, speaking of banks and the euro region, the euro is falling. Bond yields are back up to levels not seen since May. Sarah Eisen asked the EU's top economic official what he plans to do about it. He told her something you're going to hear only on Bloomberg Television. Sarah. Deirdre, he's focused on calming the markets, winning back investor confidence, and he's willing to bring back the famous European stress test to prove it. But there will be more stress tests. Uh, the stress tests uh, will certainly be continued, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, this is something that uh, I will have to talk with the mm -hmm. finance ministers of the European Union first. Uh. So he's hedging his bets, but you heard it. He is considering more stress tests. No word on how frequent they would happen or when, but it's one of the many items on Ali Ren's plate when he gets back to Brussels in the fall. That, along with drafting new fiscal rules for countries to keep their budgets in check, also fixing competitiveness problems in Greece, Spain, and Portugal. But he told me his two biggest anxieties when it comes to keeping Europe's recovery on track a slowdown in the U.S. and Asia and the spillover effect on Europe, which he says could have serious negative impact on Europe's growth. That and financial market turmoil, hence more stress tests, Deirdre. Sarah, thanks very much.